In today's video, I'm going to be showing you youth talents from the United States of America who I believe have the potential to be Wonder Kids in FM24. Josh Winder is a new recruit at Benfica. They paid $1.2 million to Louisville City for his services. Recently, he was called up to the USMNT. He is described as a powerful centre-back. Caleb Wiley is a left-sided player who plays for Atlanta United. He joined the club aged 11 and has worked his way through to the first team. In April of 2023, he made his debut for the USMNT in a friendly against Mexico. Daniel Adelman is a product of the New York Red Bulls Academy and has enjoyed a meteoric rise to the first team. Described as a combative defensive midfielder, he is one to keep an eye on. He is the current captain of the USA Under-20s team. Jack McGlynn is a creative midfielder who plays for Philadelphia Union. He has represented the USA at Under-20s level, but was recently approached to switch allegiances to Ireland as he possesses dual nationality. Caden Clark is a player who has already had a taste of European football. Having developed at New York Red Bulls, he transferred to sister club Leipzig. He has recently been on loan in Denmark and has now agreed a deal to move back to the MLS with Minnesota United. Paxton Aronson has finally made the move to Europe with Frankfurt. The Bundesliga team paid Philadelphia Union $4 million for his services. He is the younger brother of Brendan Aronson and made his US MNT debut in January of 2023. Quinn Sullivan is an attacking midfielder who plays for Philadelphia Union. He is an academy graduate who has dual nationality with Germany and Bangladesh. He has represented the USA all the way up to the under 20s level. Justin Shea is a right sided defender who currently plays for Brondby but has recently been loaned out to Addo Den Haag in Holland. He holds a German passport, but has represented the USA at under-20s level. Kevin Paredes is a left-sided player who is contracted to Wolfsburg. He transferred to Germany in January of 2022 for a reported fee of $7.35 million. In August 2023, he earned his first cap, making his debut for the US MNT. Danny Laver is a defensive midfielder who is contracted to Seattle but is out on loan at Colorado Rapids. He has represented the USA at youth age groups all the way up to the under 20s. Obed Vargas is a central midfielder who plays for Seattle Sounders. He made his MLS debut aged just 15 years and 351 days and that made him the third youngest player in history. Vargas is of Mexican descent but has represented the USA at under 20s. Rokas Pukstash is a midfielder who is contracted to Haddock Split in Croatia. A product of the Sporting Kansas City Academy, he had trials at Manchester United before he headed to Croatia. He was approached to represent Lithuania, but instead plays for the USA at under 20s level. Brian Gutierrez is an attacking midfielder who plays for Chicago Fire. A true academy prospect, he has worked his way into the first team in Chicago. He is of Mexican heritage but represents the USA and was considered for training camps in January of 2021. Dante Seeley is a forward who plays for FC Dallas. He has already had a taste of European football after he had a two-year loan move to PSV. Seeley has represented the USA all the way up to under-20s level. Kobe Henry is a centre-back who plays in France for Rheim. He moved to France in June of 22 for $700,000. He is a tall, powerful defender who has played for the USA up to under-20s level. He's recently had his first call-up for the US MNT. Matthias Lucas is a striker who is currently contracted to Flamengo under-20s. Big things are expected from him in Brazil. He does have a dual Brazilian nationality, so a switch of nationality could be on the cards. He was born in the USA. 
Cade Cowell is a winger or attacking midfielder who plays for San Jose Earthquakes. He has risen quickly through the ranks in San Jose. And in the summer of 2023, Bayern Munich and Newcastle were linked. Bologna nearly agreed a deal for Cowell. He is a star boy and when he moves to Europe, he will become the next big American star. So those are my players that I think you should keep an eye on in FM24 who represent the USA. With strong youth teams emerging, the USA could be a future powerhouse in world football, especially with the 2026 World Cup being not too far away. If you're still with me at this point of the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the content in the run-up to FM24's release. Before you go, don't forget there are other things on the channel such as Let's Plays, Wonder Kids, Hints and Tips and Tactics videos. But for this one, I'm going to be leaving it there. A big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video very soon.